Good morning. Let's talk a little bit about Mega Menu. I am JP and welcome to Learn Brizzy. In this channel, we look at Brizzy and what you can find in a little few hidden secrets, but mostly we take things a little bit more casual and informal, sit back like I've got my cup of coffee here. And if you look at the bottom of the screen there in the right hand corner, you're going to see that it's crazy early. And the crazy part is that this is normal for me. I'm an early bird. I've been like that my whole life. I know it drives the party people crazy at eight or nine o'clock at night when I tell them, C'est la I'm going to go to bed. Well, let's look at the mega menu. And the mega menu is a sub feature from the menu element that is found in the Brizzy WordPress plugin and Brizzy Cloud Pro versions. So you're going to find it in all pro platforms, but you will need to bring in the pro element and from there you activate or work with the mega menu. And actually the way Brizzy has done it, you don't even need to call it something separate. They've just integrated it into the menu element like it's an everyday thing. I've already created a menu up here with the pro element and the pro element you're always going to find here in the add elements and then you will find the menu element over here. If you are in the free version, you're going to find a free plugin version of an element. And if you are in the pro version, it's going to be pro, but both are just going to say menu. So just be aware of it. You think maybe, oh, well, it looks exactly the same like mine. I've got a free version. It must work. No, it doesn't work. You have to use the pro versions. And then you've got them over here. The mega menu is in a way like a drop down menu with content that you can put in there to your heart's content. It works similar to a drop down menu. You hover over any of these item links. And as you do so, an area appears here at the bottom. To add the mega menu, you simply go to any of the item links, click on it, and then you get the options toolbar. And then here, when you see the hamburger, click on that, and it will give you the option to activate the mega menu. And then boom, there it goes. When I saw this and I clicked outside and I saw that blue there with the plus in it, I just knew great things were going to come. The reason I say that is I've worked with mega menus before and I've bought add-ons and extensions for the page builders that are out there to have mega menus. And so many, I've wasted my money on it. They are complicated. They are intricate. And they work only on specific, like your main header, theme header. You have to connect it to the header. You cannot connect it always to the page builder. So if you have different menus for different pages, the mega menu won't change. You need to get a developer coding and all that kind of thing to really spruce it out. But when I saw this and I realized this is just the container area, I got very excited because what this means, again, you can put any element in here. You build it out the way you want. And naturally, what I would do is start with columns. So let's build out content, and then I'm going to show you some of the settings up here. Bring in a column element, and let's make that three. So we add another one here. And then what often happens you have sub menus. Again, this isn't rocket science. All you need to do is you need to go into your back end, create more menus. And in this case, I'm just going to use the same old menu thing. And what we've got now with the pro menu, and I'll bring in another menu element here. And let me just click on it, change the color. Right? What we've got here now on this, and I'm just also going to change the color for the active, right? So we've got the same menu as there. I would have had a different menu. And let me try it for a third time. What we've got now in the pro element since 2020 is the ability to make this menu horizontal. So with this menu selected, I go here again to this icon. Oh no, where am I now? I have to go here. Go to the same icon and I select orientation and vertical, and now it appears like this, and I can just align it to the left. And this is how simple it's going to be to build out a sub menu and for different items. So if you're running various sections with various pages, or you have different categories, it's going to all work in this. Now in Brizzy Cloud, especially where there aren't yet things like posts and blogs, etc., 
this is going to be very ideal for the future. So it's good that these features can already come out because once you have something like the e-commerce store, you probably want to have categories here for the different kind of stuff that you have in there, especially if you are working with clothing or toys. You know, you want to have things like who is it for, what ages, what sizes, those things. Great. And then for the rest, it's very simple. You, you bring in the things that you need. So if you want some information over there, you can bring in, I think, an icon box will work perfectly there. And you're going to style it out. So you've got that. And that means that whenever people come to the home menu, and we're going to update this page and view it on the front end to see exactly how it works, because I want to highlight something if it doesn't work the way I think it has to work. Right, so here is the, the part, at least it works the way it is supposed to work. As you hover with your cursor over home, the menu pops up here. And there's a lot of styling at this moment. It doesn't look that good, but there's a lot of styling that needs to be done here. But it does the job. So what is great is that for home, you've got it here, but you can add then a mega menu for any menu item link. You can have these guys that are actual pages on my site, or you can go and create a custom link and link it to that, bring in an icon, anything. Right, so what I wanna do is, for example, contact, just show you what I would have done with the contact is instead of having a contact page, what I will do is I will actually go and create a custom menu link. So it's not a page, just an empty link here. And then I will go and activate the mega menu and then over here, bring in columns again. And then instead of having all of those things, let's make it three again, just to see how it will work. I will have on this side, maybe some information. So I'll bring in text here, like business hours, opening hours, all that kind of stuff. And I'll make that small. And over here, I'll add maybe a map so that they can find my wonderful restaurant. And here, I'll add a form. And I like doing this, especially for spam prevention, just another extra step. I don't like really putting forms on a page. I prefer people have to click somewhere like this, and then let's update it, go to the front end, and then from there, they can send their message. Update, and like so. That's, that's what I like to do. And this is what the mega menu is going to allow you to do. And there are people that spend a lot of money on mega menu add-ons for their builders and their WordPress sites. In this case, it comes with your pro subscription or your lifetime deal if you've bought that. Let's look then at the rest of the features. So what you've got here with the mega menu, you build it out like you would build out any other section, right? Now, don't get confused with these guys. They relate to the menu link up here. What you need to focus on is this mega menu option. So you're going to find it here on the left at the top, and you've got these three settings here. So this one here is your background. You can add an image there, or you can change and play around again with color. So if I want to give it a little bit more of transparency, bring down the slider shine through and there is even a hover option for that mm, hover yeah i think hover could work the main player in this game is going to be something very exciting because it tells me ah there's a lot of stuff in the future that brizzy may give us so let's click on settings and look what we've got here this is the width so it's going to be the width of this mega menu but what i want you to focus on is this option over here the v W. The reason I get excited about this is because I love working with VW, which is viewport width. And I wish I can see this almost on everything in Brizzy, the VW and the VH, which is viewport height. This is very useful if you want to determine how big something must be in relation to the screen. So whether it is my 4K monitor or a very small laptop monitor, or even a cell phone device, it's always going to take a percentage, and that is what the viewport height is and the viewport width is of that. So if I put it on a 100 viewport width, 
it's going to stretch all the way from the left to the right. Now here, I think is a small little glitch. Let me just click out and click back again. Because, ah, okay, so you click out and you click back for it to adjust. And now you can see it stretches the full viewport width, the full width from left to right at 100%. If I go back here and I put it on 50%, then it's going to do that. And at this moment, do I need it? Ah, ah, lucky me. At this moment, what I'll have to do again, click out and go back to see where it will fit on my page. So you can do that. Ooh, and you see there I made the mistake, which I told you not to do. You have to go over here, this settings. You can put it either on the percentage, pixels, or viewport width. And I see myself using this one. The offset is how far away this mega menu will come off from your items up here. Currently, it's set to 10 pixels. And if I increase that, you're going to see you can drop it down further. This will be pretty useful depending on where and how much space you've applied to your menu. For example, I've added some padding to these menu items for the line that I've created there. So adding a little bit of offset just to give more separation between that line and my mega menu, great idea. And then you have the height. Now, currently, this container for the mega menu is set to auto height, which is normal for all containers within Brizzy. But you do have custom control, and you have then pixels and percentage, as well as content alignment here. If You want to add it to the middle at the bottom. So remember, you can have that. Let's reduce it a little bit and you can increase it. But I would say in most cases, you're probably just going to throw it on auto. And then to give a little bit more design aesthetics to it, you will go to more settings and ensure that your padding is set at a reasonable amount for your border areas. So I'll link it here, it is at 15, and I can give it a little bit more if you need that space around it. That is how the menu element works. Now, what is very important here is that you have to go and look at responsive design. Let's update this and preview it again on the front end, and then we'll jump and see how it looks on a tablet and a mobile device. And I will explain to you why you will have to go for probably a different option when it comes to mobile and tablet if you want to work with mega menus. Have I updated this? No, I haven't. And yep, there we go. And there's our contact. What you observe on desktop display when you have a cursor is that as you hover over your home and contact, the mega menu is going to pop up. That is important to understand because this contact page is actually a contact page. So if I were to click on it, it's going to take me to my contact page. Here I am in my contact page. And here I am in my home page. So you have two functions or two purposes when you hover over home. One, you have the mega menu and you may want to click on something here. But on the other hand, you may not. You may want to go to the home page and click on home page instead. I'm going to press F12 on my keyboard. And that will take me into the inspector. Usually it will look like this when you open it. So you will have your page here. You will have some mumbo jumbo here on the right. And all you need to do is go up here to these little devices, and this will give you the device display. So you can test your site now for how it will look on tablet and mobile devices. And there are some presets up here. Click here and just select. And the first one is I will go to my iPad. Here I have my menu like normal. Now, the problem is you cannot hover with your finger. I do see the future coming in where a screen will be able to detect your finger hover, and I think it's already there for some. But that hover function that we had within our desktop display for your mouse cursor, there is no mouse cursor if you're using a tablet with your finger. So the problem is if you want to see that mega menu, you have to do what I've often sit in bed when I'm at night in bed, you have to click and hold and wait for that menu to drop down, like, uh, where is it? But if you, there you go. And then you have this context stuff and everything. 
this is not ideal. The problem is if you just go like I go to home now and I click and I'm going to see the menu and before I can click, it is already going to load my homepage. And that is a problem. It's, it's a universal problem. So what is a good idea in this case? If you're going to work like this, you've got two options. One, you can have a page that is a custom link. So there's no page actually, it's an empty link so that when people click on it, it will open the mega menu only. The other option is to make this a hamburger. Okay, so let me show you on the iPhone X what I mean by that. When I go in here, I've got the hamburger menu. And then when I click on it, now you have next to these, which usually would be like a sub menu, my little more chiffron. If I click here, look what happens. This is what's going to happen. It's going to drop down like so. Same here. Okay, now this one here is actually menu, so I will have to go and work on that. Let's go back here, and then let's go to our responsive view for mobile. And you will see now we have that menu option here. What this means then is that if you want it to display like this, similar for a tablet, You'll have to go here to tablet and for this main menu of yours, click on it and then over here, go and set, make it a hamburger. So then when you go to your tablet and you update it over here, we go back to the front end. Let's put it again on iPad. This is how it currently looks. I'm going to refresh that. And now we have the hamburger. So when I click on the hamburger, it's going to give me this. So if I click here on contact, uh, I click here on contact, I get that. Wait, let me do that again. Click on home. Ah, yeah, okay. So click here on contact. Make sure you click here. And then you have everything there for the mega menu. In your builder, you will naturally go and put these columns on top of each other because currently the way they look they don't look very good. So be aware of that. Be very, very aware of that, that when you make a mega menu, you will have to go and set it up very carefully for tablets and for mobiles. The other option that you do have when you work with that is that if you feel you rather do something else for a menu in your mobile or for your tablet is to make a second menu and then disable this one for desktop or the second one for desktop, and then disable this one on your tablet and mobile devices. There's a lot of styling features and options that you have. The bottom line is that I think this is the easiest mega menu ever to use. I think there are some areas that I can still see a few things that can come in and make this a super mega menu, especially for the tablet and mobile responsive views. But I think even at this very, very moment, this is a sweet little feature and so easy to use. No need to bring in templates, no need to go set it up all over in another library and then bring those in one by one. You just do everything right here within Brizzy. That is absolutely lovable. Yes, and adorable. That is the mega menu feature that was brought in in 2020 for the WordPress and Cloud versions, pro versions of Brizzy. That brings us to the end of this 2020 edition. Hope you have a great day. Stay safe. And maybe after this cup of coffee, you never know, I'll have another one.